Good morning, friends. Welcome to Pray for America. I'm John Morgan, and it's an honor to be with you, to lift up our beloved nation. And I'll tell you, I am so grateful for getting together with all of you during the mornings, on during the week, and the discipline of doing it has helped me more than I can say. Uh, it's 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 uh, it's amazing how much I looked forward during the weekend. I couldn't wait for Monday to get back together with all of you. It's it's just become something that I that I really treasure. And so, thank you so much for joining me and being a part. Beth, good morning. It's good to see you this morning. My, I had a, a milestone over the weekend on Saturday. Uh, my father, who's he's been in heaven for <clears throat> roughly eight years, seven years, he, uh, he hit his 100th birthday. He had his centennial. Celebrated it with my mom, the two of them in heaven, but he was born June 12th, 1921 and celebrated. I don't know if they marked time. I mean, from from the testimonies you hear of people who have these near-death experiences, time is way different, if it even exists at all, up there. Uh, because <laughs> people say it's not linear like we experience it. But still, in earth years, <laughs> he, he would have been 100 years old. Hi, Diane. Good morning. It is so good to see you this morning. I appreciate you. And it's fun that uh, the fan, I, and I called all my kids and the grandkids. Daddy Chuck was his grandpa name. And uh, I, I wanted everybody to just kind of celebrate his life. And we said so we did that with emails and texts and FaceTime calls. And... Uh, also celebrate my mom, who's all she she went to heaven before dad, and uh, her big time deal was she loved Jesus like a little girl, and she trusted him. She 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 believed what the word said. She didn't have that bottleneck of unbelief nearly to the extent that most people do. She simply trusted the Lord and obeyed him and uh, lived an amazing, remarkable life and saw many, many miracles at her homegoing celebration, also called a funeral. Um, there were many tears, but there was also so much joy as person after person after person got up and shared their story of Gigi, my mom, Eileen Morgan, uh, coming and praying for them and seeing miracles happen. And I suppose maybe that's that's what... Uh, that the, that's the DNA in me that believes that God is going to move mountains for our country and for our lives and for our loved ones and for the lost, which is why we do this, this prayer time. And yes, it's a discipline, but it's so much more than a discipline. It's a delight. If, 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 if I didn't have this, if we didn't do this, I wouldn't pray for America five days a week. Um, I'm not even sure I would think to pray for America five days a week. So the discipline has served me as well as it has you guys. Alyssa, appreciate you. Good to see you and thank you. Thanks for loving on mom and dad, you guys, with those like and love buttons. You know, my mom's symbol was the rainbow, no question. Uh, the symbol of God's promise. But but her psalm, her, her, her scripture, she lived in Psalm 91. Thank you. Thank you, Grady. That's true. That's true. Our words. Peter said to the man, silver and gold have I none, but in the name, but what I do have I give unto you in the name of Jesus, rise and walk. And you know what? He is no different from us. He was an apostle. Yes, he walked with Jesus, but he was 100% human, just like we are. And God used his faith and he will use our faith. So Psalm 91 was mom's big psalm, and this morning's reading out of my YouVersion app is Psalm 91, 
verses 1 and 2, the verse of the day. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. And I do trust you, Lord. We trust you, Lord. Jim, it's so good to see you, my friend. Ah, God is so good. Lord, we lift up this beautiful day. Thank you. If if you live in Central Florida, like I do, thank you for the wonderful rain yesterday. Uh, It's been so dry here, and the lakes and the grass and the trees and the flowers need it so desperately, and so thank you so much for it. I'm so grateful. Lord, thank you. Our country needs your rain. Our our nation needs the rain of the Holy Spirit to fall on us. Holy Spirit, be released. Bring revival. Bring the rain of your Spirit. Bring the presence of God to our land. Dear God, we lift up America. Thank you, Father, for the reports we hear coming from California of many, many, many hundreds or thousands getting saved through different ministries, uh, such as that of Morio Marilla, who's having revival in his tent meetings. Many, many people being saved. It's so exciting. Many people being healed. And Lord, we pray that you'd send that spirit here in my house, in Diane's house, in Karen's house, in Janice's house, who's in the hospital. Lord, we pray for healing. We pray, Father, for restoration. Dear God, we pray for hope. We pray for faith. We pray for an outpouring of your Spirit and everything that comes with it. Lord God, your Word says that your Spirit bears fruit, and there are nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. And so, God, we pray that you would increase the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, goodness, temperance, faith, meekness. There's a bunch of, I don't remember all nine of them. I used to know them because they were part of a song. Let me see. Let me, let me try the song. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, temperance, goodness, meekness. No, suffering, all right, kindness. I don't know. A bunch of them. bunch of them. <laughs> but in revival, it's like putting miracle grow on the fruit of the Spirit. And we pray, God, that you would manifest faith, that we would have the boldness, the faith, the grace, and the love to step out of our own comfort zone, pray for the sick, and watch miracles happen. Dear God, help me to be obedient. Help me to love you enough to obey you when you tell me to do this or that. Lord, I lift up our leaders in our land. We lift up our leaders. We here on the show, Jim, Grady, Alyssa, Diane, Beth, and all those who will watch later and who are watching that haven't commented. There could be millions of you. (laughs) Just kidding. Lord, we pray that you will humble our leaders according to 2 Chronicles 7.14. Dear God, we humble ourselves because we don't want you to have to humble us. Lord, we bow, we bow low before you, God. We acknowledge that you are God. You are our Lord Jesus. You are our maker. And we worship you. You're not at a distance, as the Bette Midler song says. Oh, God, you're in us. You're not just watching us. You are living through us. You said, Jesus, that the works that I have done, you shall do. And even greater works than these because I go to the Father. Yes, and you went to the Father. And now through the power of the Holy Spirit, you live in us. Hallelujah. Live through us, Lord Jesus that we might be impactors of our world. Oh God, from our president 
and vice president, to the members of Commerce, uh, Congress and the Senate, the Supreme Court, and all lower courts, God, would you remove godless, uh, power-grabbing, greedy sinners from office and raise up humble, obedient servants who love the people and want to do your will in all of these offices of the land, Lord God. Your will be done, Father. Your kingdom come. May your kingdom come. Lord God, help your church to take its place of influence in our land and to not be silent and to not be fearful. We rebuke fear in the name of Jesus. We have declared war on fear and are fighting a war on fear in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the powerful weapons of the Holy Spirit as um, described in Ephesians chapter 6, may they be employed on our behalf in our individual lives and in the church nationwide and worldwide. Father, we are not selfish to think that we just want to be blessed here in America and nowhere else. No, we want to be blessed. We want to be restored. We want to be lifted up that we can be a blessing, that we can be generous as a nation, that we can feed the hungry around the world, that we can carry the gospel to the rest of the world. And we partner with Christians in all other nations to do the work of the Great Commission. We, we are not arrogant to think that we're like the only or that we're the, the king cheese of the world. Lord, you have blessed America. There's no question about it. But it's in order that we can be a blessing to others. Lord, we pray for the peace of Israel, the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, bless that beautiful country where you walked and you lived so many years ago. Thank you, God. And our country of the day is Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde is a small group of islands off the coast of West Africa. And I, I had to ask Siri like eight different times to finally find it because it kept wanting to go to Cabo San Lucas and these other places. But I did finally find it. It's a small group of islands off West Africa. There's about a half a million people there. And uh, since the 1960s, it's almost tripled in population. Must be a nice place. But Lord, we pray that your gospel would permeate that tiny nation and that your will would be done and that your kingdom would come in Cabo Verde. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, thank you for healing the sick among us. Dear God, I lift up my sister Janice, and I pray again, Lord God, and will never tire of praying, that you will totally, completely heal her and remove all cancer from her body. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we do warfare against this cancer in her body in Jesus' name, and we say in faith, Janice, be healed. If you're watching, be healed. If you're not watching, be healed. Lord, thank you for healing Joel. Thank you, Father, for the good work you are doing in your people. Hallelujah. God, we pray for Karen and Diane and Eddie and Andy and Chris. Father, that you would heal them completely, totally, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Heal them, Father of cancer, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for anyone suffering with COVID, any of your friends, anybody you know of that's suffering with cancer or COVID, that they would be healed. I pray for my fellow Bishop Moore alumnus who is suffering from ALS, and I pray, God, that you would heal that person, Father. Thank you, Lord. And dear God, I just thank you that you are on the throne. Heal hearing problems. Heal vision problems, Lord. Heal arthritis. Heal throat problems, tongue problems, leg problems, joint problems, feet problems, ankle problems. Lord, my friend Larry, would you heal his feet? 
my 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 good buddy Tony, Lord, would you heal him as well? Thank you, Lord. And Lord, I pray for Pat that you would totally heal him, Lord. And Father, lastly, I pray for our relationships. It all comes down to love. Lord, we love you and we love each other. That's our mission. And whatever love looks like, <clears throat> stepping out of our own comfort zone, praying, giving generously, just throwing an arm around somebody and sitting quietly when they're going through something, having empathy. Father, it all comes down to love, loving you and loving others. We pray for our children that they would be blessed. We pray for our grandchildren that they would be blessed and know you, God. Lord, we pray for our marriages that they would be restored or strengthened as is needed. And we thank you, Father, for sending massive, massive revival in America. Sweep folks in to the churches. May the churches not know what to do with them because of the massive number of new converts. Oh, Lord, open up small groups in homes all around this country that people could be cared for because of love. Just like they did in the book of Acts, they met together in homes. Lord, let us do that. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you. And like, and guys, please keep me in prayer. This, this Friday, I'll be taping on the Huckabee Show, and it will air live. It'll air live if you have uh, the TBN app. You can actually watch it as it happens. And then otherwise, his show will be on with me as the guest, among other guests, of course, um, the very next night, Saturday night. So this is the week. I need your prayers, and I thank you for them. Hallelujah. Oh, and also, coincident to that, and the reason I'm going on is to talk about the launch of the music video, My Brother and Me, which will be um, up probably before Friday, and I'll let you guys know, you, you guys who are on this show or my sh other show can get a, a sneak peek. You'll be able to see it in advance, and as well as download my little uh, four-song EP that I'll be uh, uploading uh, to the internet. So thank you guys. Keep me in prayer. Thank you for that. It's going to be an important week. And please, uh, thank you for all the likes. I'm very grateful. You guys are knocking the ball out of the park. And uh, if you do me this kindness and share this show out so we can get the word out, that would be great because um, it would be wonderful if Huckabee's uh, viewers uh, just blow up that night, um, and that that'll that'll look good for me, frankly. <laughs> and I want to bless him as well. He's a great, great man. Well, God bless you guys. Have a super, super Monday, and we'll see you this afternoon on the John Morgan Show at five o'clock. Take care.